drift. Let old 200 horsepower drift in this thing. I like this GTR a lot. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Need for Speed. Today we're going to be taking... I think we should buy this, because I haven't ever tried this car out at all, the old GTR. It it seemed really cool. <laughs> like it's a body kit and all that. Oh, never mind, it wasn't a body kit. <laughs> Alright, so let's just do a custom. What did he have? Oh, wait, no, I see what he did. Okay, so we, you do that, and then, yeah, that's what it was. Alright. So you put the uh you remove the front bumper, put the very very tiny intercooler right there or whatever it's called, and then put that the little splitter. All right, that's cool. I don't know how wide the car will get once you uh once you add you know all the actually let's do let's make this like a little old drift car. Yeah, that'll be cool. And then no, yeah, he can. There's so many different... Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's crazy. This thing gets so wide. <laughs> oh my gosh. This, this is cool. I like this car. Alright, let's do this one. Oh my gosh, this car is so cool. I didn't expect it to be like this. Oh, this this thing. I love the old GTR. Honestly, this car, this car now excites me more. Let's do that. <laughs> this car honestly excites me more than the, what's it called? The RWB. Or old Porsche 911 whatever you want to call it <laughs> I like to call RWB because that's what it had on it <laughs> but honestly this car does excite me more than it cuz well look at it it's so wide so little <laughs> it's awesome go to the tail lights there we go oh okay that looks cool I don't like this thing no, I don't. I don't like this car with that a wing that big. <laughs> it just doesn't look right. Diffusers. Might as well. There we go. Looks cool. Now I just have to do the rims, and then we should be good. Okay, so now for the paint. I've already got all the rims, as you can see. I've got all that done. But now the paint. I don't know. All the top paints, honestly, don't look that great, in my opinion. Like, you really do find the best paints at, like, near the bottom. Honestly. Let's see, like... Oh, was it this one? That looks pretty cool. Yeah, let's, let's go with that. That looks pretty sick. Alright, so I guess I'll just upgrade it a little bit and then go ahead and drift. You gotta remember though, we're basically going stock drift 
because this really once again isn't going to be upgraded very much so i don't expect to do too well just so you guys remember <laughs> everything off handbrake strong nitrous power there we go all right so i'm gonna go up to well actually i don't think this car will be able to take the corners that i normally go to because it doesn't have enough power to just go through the whole corner I know this isn't a game that's so much into physics and stuff, but still, I'm going off of it like it really is a simulation game, so I'm going to find a spot that doesn't have very long corners. Alright, so we're at one of my older spots. It's a pretty cool it's pretty cool uh, little layout. This corner you can only take if you're in a car that's very powerful, so we're going to skip out on that corner. It's farther down when you really start drifting a lot. Because it's harder to drift these corners, especially in this car, but they're hard in general. Nope. Get sideways? Dang it. Alright, that wasn't good. There we go. That one was alright. This little car is actually pretty cool. Pretty good at drifting, too. Oh. Rip ye old GTR. And going over the bridge. Yeah. This thing's sick. Yeah. It was sick until it hit the wall. <laughs> My gosh. Okay, that's the bad part. As you could see, I was trying to get it sideways there without pulling the e-brake because that would have pulled me straight into the wall. But I couldn't get it sideways because it didn't have enough power to just start getting oversteer. So, only bad part about this car. When you don't upgrade it enough, it doesn't do anything. Uh, that was alright. Well, it was horrible, but it's terrible, but whatever. Or you could just go straight into the wall. I think I went, uh,. I don't know if this was the exact way to go, but I know that these hills are definitely a good place for drifting. So either way, if it, even if I went the wrong way, it's a good spot. So it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Let's just keep heading up this way. I'm just going to go ahead and drive around and see, see what areas I get to drift on. I don't know the map very well at all, so I don't know what's going to come next. get sideways oh oh okay or you could just go into the wall once again oh okay once again I'll, well I haven't said this before so it's not once again but the bad part about me just saying okay I'm just gonna go ahead and randomly drift whenever I try to randomly just go around drifting I end up finding a straight even if even if I'm like I don't know, even if I'm like in crazy windy areas like this, I'll somehow find a, a way to get on like this freeway. <laughs> I don't know why it just happens. Alright, gonna find another spot. See you soon. Okay, so it handled well around the longer corner, so I figured we might as well try it in the OG spot. Because <laughs> this is the area that I normally drift in. So I figured why not come down here and try it out. I just think that some of these corners, like the beginning, in the beginning of this little like track that I found, I guess, it it's easy to drift them, but later on into this little track area, it they start getting pretty like pretty. They're just very very long. It's just hard to keep your car sideways throughout the whole turn, so I don't know how it'll go. But for now, it's or. As for right now, it seems like it's handling it pretty well. 
I don't know. This car seems pretty cool. But like I said earlier, this game isn't a game that's like all about physics and it's not a simulator. So I guess it doesn't really matter if you have 50 horsepower. I'm sure you still... I'm sure you could still hold out all of the corners, just like if you were in a car with 300, 500 horsepower. It doesn't really matter. Oh. I didn't realize that the railing was actually super bouncy. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Cars are appearing in the middle of the road slamming into that guy's driving on the wrong side well he wasn't driving on the wrong side he was just very very far out of his lane drift little 200 horsepower drift in this thing I like this GTR a lot Alright, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I like this car. Look at it. Take out all the poles. Take out all the things. Nope. Didn't go very well. Let's see if I can... No, because there's not many. I was going to say, let's see if I can, like, drift. And then just tap, like, one pole, but nothing else. But there's not really a good spot to do that other than the area down there. Like up here, it's just it's just a rail. I could try drift tapping, but I don't think that's going to go well at all. When you're me, it doesn't really go well. Point proven. When you're me, it doesn't really go well. Alright, that, that was alright. That was alright. <laughs> I like it. I like this little car. But, once again, I think that'll be it for the episode. I hope you all enjoyed. I'm gonna go and start recording some Let's Plays on the Porsche Expansion. See you, I guess, in the next video.